Hey, it's me, GV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. In the last episode, we were accruing all of our Bard College mates' lost uh, musical instruments, and I have to ask, how did they lose so many instruments? They literally all had the same problem. No! And it was lost instruments. How did they all lose? Three instruments. It's crazy, especially instruments, instruments of that magnitude. You know, they were literally like amazingly unique, awesome, powerful. I don't think powerful, but just unique and important instruments. And, and they lost them. And they call themselves bards. It doesn't really make much sense to me. But anyways, we've got all three of them and we are going to return and give all three of them to our college mates. So let's head back to the Blue Palace, which of course is in Solitude, where the Bard's College resides, and do exactly that. I forget exactly what our reward is. I'm pretty sure I know what it is. I'm not going to spoil it, however. But um, yeah, and then we're going to be moving on to something entirely different. And to be quite honest with you all, I'm not exactly sure what. Usually before I start the episodes, I have a plan, but I kind of just jumped into this one forgetting to start the plan. I have an idea of what we're going to be doing, but uh, in the meme, Hello, in the, yes. uh, in the meantime, dean of history and scribe work when I can find some quiet time. I have rejoined Strum. At last, I have searched for this drum for 20 years. The college treasury is a bit thin right now, but I can show you some tricks I learned from my days with the army. Okay, so we got block, archery, and one-handed. So, that's what I thought. Oh, and two-handed. And heavy armor. Okay. Oh, I see. So, each one is going to give us one part of the... It's basically like the Ogma Infinium, ex, uh, except only one part of it. I suppose I should return to my papers. I think, anyways. We'll test that out. Of course, the magic is not going to be that helpful. Well, for alteration and restoration, it will be. It's been my honor to perform at the Blue Palace on many occasions. His late lordship was quite the admirer. I recovered your flute. That's it. Wonderful. I knew I could count on you. I don't have any money to give you, but I can show you a few tricks I learned playing with the Winterhold wizards. Yep. Now you can say you've met the most talented. I was correct. Oh, and enchanting, life. right, of course. Perfect. All right, that was pretty good. And then of course we have one more which is going to give us the thief side of things. I wonder how she's going to justify that. Because being a warrior a and being a mage makes sense. Alive. Being a Mark, thief, though, that's not really a good thing, is it? Or an assassin, or what have you. Let's see. Yes? I found Finn's loot. What? You did? Oh, sweet divines, you did! There is no way I can pay you what this loot is worth. But I can teach you a few tricks I've learned over the years. Got that distraction's over. Yep, pickpocketing. You got sneak too. Well, there it is. You, if only everyone acted like you. And speech. Very nice. All right, so obviously really worth it to do all of that. Uh, pretty simple, pretty fairly simple, especially if you've been to the places before. I'm not sure if they're randomized locations. Something tells me that they're not. Oh, uh, well, actually, no, they probably are. I mean, it works the exact same way normal Radiant Quests Yarns work, with taking you to random locations and putting the item in a uh, in a, uh, a chest at the end, you know? Okay, so that's that. That is that. Now, we don't have any side quests here that we can actively do. Um, well, we could. We could try and look for some. We could try to look for some uh, cogs, and that wouldn't be too hard. We would just need to go to a... Uh, um, a dwarven ruin, and we've been to many. Man, look at this. Our miscellaneous um, is, is is almost completely done here. Uh, I think I wanted to do some more of these, but I stopped. So let's just see if we want to do uh, any more before we move on to something else. Ask Aldis for information about Angeline's daughter. That sounds like a side quest. We weren't able to do this one. This is just... Oh, we need to grab bear pelts. Okay, let's remember to grab bear pelts when we kill bears. Uh, this doesn't give us a uh, quest objective. Doesn't give us a marker. We can do this one. That will be interesting. We're not going to be doing that. We can't do that. And Brothers of Darkness? What is that from? All right, let's try this one. Did we try to do this one already, though? We do have a quest marker. What enemies are nearby? Oh my gosh, are you serious? 
and now I can fast travel. You see, you guys see, it's not me going crazy. It, it literally just does that to me randomly. We're also really close to a level up. All we need is one more alteration increase, which means we want to grab telekinesis and telekinize everything that we can get our hands on. So let's go ahead and do that, especially while we're clearing up some stuff. All right, looks like we need to go into Miss Vale Keep. Um, I just want to do some of these miscellaneous objectives because they sound quite interesting. I don't remember who Vald was or Veld, and I want to talk to Maven and see what that means. And we'll also do that any chance that we possibly can. City still reeks with the okay, the where are you at, Maven? Miss Vale Keep, Jarl's Cham- Why are you in the Jarl's Chambers? It's not really going to matter too much if we head inside of here. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. Yarl, Maven... Whoa, 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 whoa. Is Maven... Has Maven Blackbriar always been the Yarl? She definitely doesn't have that title in front of her name sometimes when you're dealing with the Thieves' Guild. But what did we do in Rift... Oh, I guess she becomes the Yarl if you side with the Imperials? What in the world? I've never seen this happen, and I'm not sure about the prerequisites for it to happen. Okay, that's quite interesting. The throne suits me, don't you think? Okay, yes, the throne suits me, don't you think? So, yeah, she has come into power. Wow, that's interesting. I'd like to erase Vald's debt. Vald? Why would you want to help that idiot? He owes me a steep debt. In fact, he's lucky all I did was force him to work for Mercer. What did he do? Oh, this is way back from the Thieves' Guild quest. Oh my god. This is already way over and done. Is Vald dead? I think Vald might even be dead. What did he do? A few years back, I commissioned a unique quill from a good friend of mine in Winterhold. Vald was tasked with getting it here safely, and it ended up at the bottom of Lake Honrick. He's in debt because of a quill? The wizards called it the Quill of Gemination, and demanded a tremendous amount of gold to have it made. If you can locate the Quill and return it to me, something Vald was too stupid to do himself, I'll consider the debt satisfied. What is the Quill of Gemination? The Quill was supposed to allow me to duplicate any writing I'm viewing in exacting detail. I'm sure you can understand how useful that would prove in a business situation, especially where signatures were involved. What if someone else got their hands on it? Fortunately, the quill required an ink with a unique formula known only to myself. So if you're getting any ideas about selling it to someone else or keeping it, you'll find it would hold little value. How did it end up in Lake Honrith? I had Vald meet the caravan from Winterhold on the western end of the lake, so he could avoid the roads. The idiot got lost in the mist and ran his boat right over some rocks, sending it straight to the bottom. He's too stupid to remember where he was, and any attempt I've made to find it in the past has been unsuccessful. Any ideas where I can look? Vald said his rowboat struck some rocks. I'd check under the water near one of the small islands in the lake. Perhaps you should start at the docks and work your way out towards Golden Glow Estate. Really? Someone as powerful as you with that much information on where this thing is can't find it? I find that hard to believe. Out of my way. Gladly. That is so interesting. I still... Wow, she's a Jarl. I've never the played a playthrough where she has become Jarl. And the only thing that is different is that I sided with the Imperials, which I've never done in any playthrough. So, siding with the Imperials must put her into power. Or maybe I just never talked to her after completing the Civil War quest line and she comes to, into power regardless. I don't really know, but that is so interesting. All right, unfortunately, we don't have a quest location for the Quill of Gemination, but she said go to the docks and work our way towards Golden Glow Estate. I do want to do that. I do want to actually find this thing. I don't remember where the docks were, though, in Riften. Looks like somewhere over here to our right, maybe? I believe there's, like, a door that leads to the docks. Yeah, you can see the water there. Maybe we shouldn't have dropped down here, actually. Okay, give me some... I think we need to travel... Yeah, we need to travel. There's Golden Glow Estate. Uh, let's go to the Riften Stables. I do want to find this, even though it's not really going to have any Im Im uh, any implication on anything, because it's just going to complete a miscellaneous quest. But it's interesting. It's it's a unique item. Of, of course, we can't use it, which is disappointing. Um, 
with a development team as big as Bethesda, I think it would have been cool to actually create a mechanic where you could copy... Do Although, what, what use would it be, right? I guess... I don't know. Okay, so this is this is gonna be cool though. Oh god, get out of here, man! Oh, Jesus. This is gonna be cool because we want to look for a rowboat, and I actually don't know where that is. Um, I've never done this, so we'll let the other people deal with the dragon. We've got bigger fish to fry, as usual. Yeah, so we're looking for what? What? Locate the quill of gemination under Lake Honrick. Miscellaneous. This is gonna be actually really hard. Um, I think, anyways. We need to work our way towards Golden Glow Estate, which is right over there. So there's not too much ground to cover. And I guess all we need to do is look for a rock with a rowboat near it. And then um, look below it, and we should find... I would imagine it's not going to be the quill by itself, because that's going to be super, super small and hard to locate. Now, she said work your way to Glo uh, Golden Glow Estate, which makes me think also that it's not going to be past Golden Glow. Dude, can you... I don't want to say it, but can you can you leave, basically? Is what I'm trying to say here. Now, it's got to be a smaller rowboat, right? Oh, my gosh, my controller's vibrant. He's not even close, man. And, and the combat music. He's not even close anymore. He's gone. It's over. There's a boat, but it's not destroyed. It, it would have to be destroyed, right? I don't know. Let's, let's look below it, I guess, and see if we can spot a... Um, a chest or something. No such luck. Okay, man, I'm I'm not. God, this is this is gonna be difficult to find. Uh, let's see. Where were the docks? The docks are over there. So we probably just want to start from a straight shoot. We want to start from the docks and literally make a beeline for Golden Glow Estate. Unless it's right over here. Oh, all the guards have respawned. It would appear. Oh my gosh. All right. Um, well, let's let's do a little bit more. Let's look a little bit more. And then we'll probably just fast forward till I find this thing. There's the Rift and Docks. And you can see there's nothing like directly in front of it. So unless it's like right over here. Come on. I would be so happy if I found this myself. It would, be, it would feel, I would feel so much pride and joy on this island. No. Oh. Nope, that's a rock. Okay, can we spot anything? Oh, man, I really want to find it. All right, I'm going to look a little bit more myself and see if I can find it. Uh, if not, I will find it through other means. All right, so apparently the issue wasn't... The issue wasn't trying to find... Well, the issue was that I was trying to find the boat... Uh, crashed into a little inlet or an island or something. Um, it's actually sunken, which makes total sense. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Uh, I know the location now, unfortunately, but that's good because I would have never actually found this by myself because I was looking for a boat on an inlet. So there's two boats. There's the big boat for Golden Glow Estate. There's the big boat for Riften. Uh, apparently, it's sunken around the halfway point of both. I would imagine, like, right in the middle somewhat. So... <laughs> This is a little bit north of the halfway point. Now we're just looking for a sunken rowboat. Of course it can't be that easy, though. Oh, man. Trying to find... Oh! Oh, and there we go. That is difficult to find. My God. And here we have Vald Strong Box, which is an expert lock. Wow, this is so elaborate just to get someone off of a debt when you can, I believe, kill him. And if you forget what this is dealing with... And there's the Quill of Gemination, only valued at 150. You would think it'd be more, huh? Uh, yeah, it, it, it was for the Thieves Guild. We needed to break into Mercer Frey's house, and I believe Vald was the gatekeeper. And I think as soon as we opened it up, uh, they said you could use a variety of different ways to deal with him. But as soon as you open up the gate, he attacks you. So you can just kill him. That's pretty much the easiest option, I believe. I don't know why you would ever do this unless you're like me and want to complete the more interesting stuff. But there we go. We have the um, Quill of Gemination. Can we fast travel while in water? I forget. Probably not. So let's go ahead and get on this little piece of land. Alrighty. Let's bring that Quill. Also, Maven might just reward us with something interesting. I don't know. She's Jarl, Maven Blackbriar. Which, from a game design standpoint, you have to think. They probably just copied over her character design 
and then added the Jarl title. But I would imagine they would have to make an entirely new NPC, and, and Maven, the actual Maven Blackbriar is just considered dead, or they removed her from the game, or something. I heard you were at the wedding of the Emperor's cousin. Did we have an appointment? The throne suits me, don't you think? Delivery? I found the Quill of Gemination. Really? I wrote that off a long time ago. Well, I suppose I need to fulfill my end of the bargain. Give this document to Vol. It frees him from the debt, but I never want to see him in Riften again. You've been a good friend to me. That means something. Okay, well, we didn't really get anything because, like I said, my I believe Vald is dead. Jarl Maven Blackbriar has a pleasant sound to it, wouldn't you say? No, told me you I would not say. Guild. You are very you corrupt and a terrible thing. person, probably going to do terrible things for the future of Riften. But uh, I didn't really have any effect on that. I mean, maybe you, you might think that I did. But I didn't. I didn't directly cause that, or I maybe indirectly caused that. But anyways, all right, that's quite interesting. Uh, yeah, I, like I said, I don't think we can give this. Um, ooh, transmute mineral ore. When did we get that? Yeah, that's that's an interesting one. Uh, Vald's debt. Let's read this. This document absolves Vald of Riften borrower from all debts and accounts owed to Maven Blackbriar of Riften lender. This document should be held in a secured location until such time as the lender considers the debt satisfied. In the event of the borrower's, borrower's death, the debt will be collected from any remaining assets or property owned as determined by the acting steward of Riften. Now, just really quickly before we leave here, let's find Mercer's house and see if we can see... Vald's dead body because I believe that's the case. I don't remember exactly where um, Mercer's house is though. I'm gonna have to look at the Riftwheel Manor. No, that's the house that we can get, right? Blackbriar Manor. He does live in Riften. Honor Hall, the Ratway, Skyrim, Pond Prawn, Beggar's Row, Honeyside. Oh man. It's going to be really hard for me to locate this because, I, for some reason, I, I can't remember if it's on... Vegetables as crisp as a white it isn't Riften, right? It should be over here somewhere, right? Near the manors? Yeah, back here. Okay. Well, it's not this one. There's a gate, obviously, so I think... Oh, there's the Thieves' Guild. Okay, let's go this way. Hello, Imperial Guard. Yes, it's got to be one of these. Okay, yes, it should be this one. Riftwield Manor? That's not it, is it? Requires key. We don't have the key. I guess this is it. Where was the contraption? Oh, yeah, there's the contraption that we shot down to go up to the top. Okay, it was Riftwield Manor, yes. And Vald's body is nowhere to be found. He must have been removed. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we killed him. All right, anyways, let's see what else we have. Find the copy of Brothers of Darkness. I don't know what this is, but it's in Valfheim Towers, which we have cleared, so I think we'll just run through it quickly. And also, like I said, use telekinesis on anything and everything we can get our hands on to get ourselves that level 46. Four levels away from the maximum achievement in uh, in this game. Okay, we're not even going to bother with any combat. We're just going to run in and run out pretty much. Hold it. This here's a toll road, see? You're going to have to hand over, say, 200 gold if you want to use our road. How about you let me through and I don't kill you? Huh. Tough talk for someone who's about to have their guts spilled. She said as she didn't realize her soul would be mine. Oh, man. How did you live through that? Disappointing. Wow, you do a lot. I am sorry that I underestimated you. Holy crap. Okay, well, we might have to utilize some combat now. Jeez. That was strong. All right. Wooden door. Yes, that's what I was hoping for. Um, let's go ahead and just, like I said, we're just going to run through this. Because we need to get to the towers. Oh, how I would like to have, uh, what's it called? Unrelenting force. Oh, my God. These guys are strong. All right. Close those doors. Don't want to get hit by it. Oh, Jesus. All right. All right. Uh, don't hit me again. Gotcha. Oh, there's a restoration increase. Nice. Level up. No, of course not. Why would it be? Close those doors. Okay. Yeah, we're still going to run through this. You guys think I won't? Oh, man. Where is this? Oh, it's like right upstairs. Okay, perfect. All right. And yes, nice. We don't even have to go into anything. Brothers of Darkness. What is this? By Pelarn Assi? You guys can read this if you want. It has to deal with the Dark Brotherhood. 
and the Night Mother, and the Rung Tong, which is not in this game, but very prominent in the older games. Okay, well, we have it. Let's take that and that. Regro shove. Interesting. Okay, how are we going to get out of this alive? That's the question. Uh, let's grab Unrelenting Force. Maybe, though, if we had Whirlwind Sprint. Uh, or, you know what? I know how we're going to get out of this. We're going to jump over here and we're going to go into Crouch. And we're going to actually grab... Become Ethereal. First time I played this game, I always called that Become Ethereal. Alright, we're just going to wait till our... Uh, cool down cools down and we're gonna jump over and they're gonna all say how in the world did he do that and we're gonna say because of course we are the mighty and powerful astronaut we're gonna jump straight into the water too i need to get up here to prepare okay let's crouch up and down so that they can't hit me oh look at that oh how i want to oh i kind of want to unrelenting force you but i won't anyways fine down we go we probably could have survived if we landed in the water, but I'm not so lucky when it comes to that sort of stuff. All right, not too bad. That was a quick in and out mission. Now we're gonna spam the back button until we can travel. There we go. I don't know what, why did Urag tell us to grab this book? I have no idea. Is it just a random miscellaneous quest? I don't remember getting this quest ever from this guy. Yeah, this, um, this episode is gonna be a little bit of cleanup, ladies and gentlemen, just cleaning up the remaining interesting miscellaneous quests and then the next episode we'll do something actually interesting i promise we will move on to um gosh all we have are side quests stage requests and the dragon board dlc and the main quest of course but we're holding off on that wrong not into the archmage's quarters you silly 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 game all right let's grab telekinesis and get ourselves an alteration increase there's gonna be lots of things to manipulate in here Probably one to two more of doing that before we get our level up. Archmage or not, my rules about books still stand. Here's the book you were looking for. Looks like you're still in one piece. And more importantly, so is the book. Thank you. Screw you, man. I'm the Archmage. 36 gold? Have you made any progress translating Shalador's work? We were able to figure out the last text you brought in. I thought the least I could do is pass the knowledge along. Okay. Oh! Oh! Oh, that's cool. I didn't realize we were getting low, um, skill increases from this. Okay, not doing that because another rating quest most likely. No, 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 no. Why would he know about this? Are all the orc strongholds guarded? The strongholds keep to themselves. Skyrim hasn't always been kind to the orcs. For an outsider like you to be accepted, an orc would have to make you blood kin and send word to the chiefs. Well, we did the uh, Forge Master's fingers. Can you make me blood kin? Trust like that is not freely given. I'm the Archmage, dude. Mm -hmm. Ugh, he's not even impressed. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we have ourselves a level up. Let's do this. Um, gosh. Magic. Oh, God. I don't even know where all of our abilities are at. I want to have everything even, but it's going to be quite difficult. I think we'll just increase health. Yeah. Health is what we need the most. We don't need too much magic. We don't need too much stamina. Stamina is actually perfect where it is. Okay. So let's take a look at our magic skills, and then we'll end the episode here. Uh, we have Illusion at 100. We have Conjuration at 100. Destruction at 100. Restoration 49. This one is going to be the biggest pain in the ass. And we have Alteration and Enchanting. Uh, I think we were going up through Alteration for the time being. Apprentice. Okay, interesting. Ooh, Mage Armor. Yes. Next rank, Protection Spells like Stone Fletch are 2.5 times as strong, if, uh, as strong if not wearing armor. Really going to help us out for the later boss fights and stuff. Uh, but let's see what else we have. Magic Resistance blocks 10% of a spell's effects. We already have the Atronach Stone. So, we probably don't need to make that a priority. Let's go up here, though. What do we have? Expert. Cast Expert spells for half Magicka. Alteration spells have greater duration. Ah, oh, jeez. There's so much to grab. All right. What was the main one up here? Right. And then absorb 30% of the Magicka. 
That's going to be amazing. And yes, we need to go for that. So I think we'll grab expert. And of course, we need 100 for this one. But we will grind it out and we'll get 100 eventually. Uh, and grinding alteration up to 100 will most likely also put our level or, or leveling up. What am I talking about? I, oh, what I'm saying is getting alteration to 100 will most likely get us to level 47, thus giving us another perk point, and we can put it into Atronach. And I just love Adronach having the Atronach perk and also stone. So that's the plan for now. Um, if you want to follow the stream, ladies and gentlemen, I still haven't done that grinding live session. I will most likely be doing it probably before this episode goes up on youtube though so it doesn't really matter but if you want to watch future episodes go ahead and follow the stream the link is in the description below and uh yeah you can watch me live grind some stuff for this let's play we're gonna end this episode here ladies and gentlemen thank you guys so much for watching i hope you guys are enjoying this series so far who are you restoration is a perfectly valid school of magic and don't let anyone tell you otherwise why are the research materials constantly disappearing? Wow, she has high health. Yeah, thank you so much for watching, ladies and gentlemen. I'll see you in the next episode. Adios, muchachos.